This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. So here on vPython for Beginners, we have created a lot of objects. A lot of objects. We've made a lot of animations together. You might start to wonder, how do I go about deleting one of these things? Because let's say you've got a ball like this one that goes flying off. It's part of the little experiment or simulation is done. And then you want to have something else happen, but you don't want to have this around anymore. Now, maybe you don't want to have it around visually. Uh, you can just turn it invisible. But maybe you also don't want it taking up memory in the program. Maybe you've got something very intensive running. Maybe you've got thousands of these things running around on the screen and you want them to be deleted from memory as soon as they collide with the edge or exceed a certain velocity or something like that. Let's take a look at how you delete an object in vPython. So here's the code that created the animation that you just saw. We create a sphere, we call it ball. Uh, we give it a step size in the up and right directions. Um, and then we're just going to have it run while the ball is to the left of x equals 10. And we'll move it up and to the right by the step vector each time. No problem there. Then it gets done. And let's suppose we want to delete the ball at that point. We're, we're done with it. We don't need it anymore. You actually have to take a few steps for this. Let me show you why. The command to delete it from memory is del ball, right? So this is short for delete and then ball. This is going to delete it from the memory. It's going to remove this name ball. But watch what happens if you just use del ball. Uh, it's been deleted from memory, but supposedly, but it's still there on the screen, right? Let me prove to you that it's been deleted from memory. If I go to print the ball's position here, and then print the ball's position here. We'll do a little bit of debugging here. All right, it goes up here. This is the part where it gets deleted. Notice I get a I get a nice print statement here that it's at 11, 11, 0, just like I would expect. But then when I go to the second time, it can't read property pause of undefined. Add on your line 11, print ball.pause. Line 11, that's our second time calling it here, right? Because it's been deleted. But you say it's still there in the window because it's still there in terms of the GPU, the, 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 the graphics processing unit. It's still rendering it. So it's still taking up memory even though I've deleted the, the name ball. Because what I've done is I've said, okay, delete the name ball. I haven't actually deleted it from the screen. In order to do that, we have to first turn the ball invisible. So we say ball.visible equals false. So this is the part that deletes it from the GPU's rendering process. And this is the part that actually delete from the program's memory. So we're getting a little bit technical here with the uh, with what's going on in terms of the computer. But it's important because it does take two steps to delete something in vPython. Now let's see what happens. Press control two to run. This gets up to the upper right corner. I get this part here. Cannot read property dot pause property pause of undefined. And yet it's gone from the window here. So we'll get rid of these print statements. We don't need that part anymore. So we've learned how to delete something. Now, the next question that comes up, what if the ball is part of a list? So let's take the second part here. I don't need this first part anymore. Here, I'm creating a list. I'm creating a list called shapes. You know, maybe you've got thousands of these things running across the screen. Well, our shapes list is going to have a sphere and a box. The box is the only, excuse me, the sphere is the only part we're going to move across the screen, right? Because shapes of zero dot pause that's referencing the zeroth element the sphere here so when i press control 2 to run <clears throat> my sphere ends up flying up here my box gets left behind pretty much what you would expect now let's suppose i want to delete the ball again i have to do this a little bit differently just slightly differently again i have to set it invisible first but now sphere doesn't have its own name now I have to reference its location in shape. So I need to say shapes of zero dot visible equals false. And then I need to delete the item. And there are a few different ways to delete something in a list. Uh, one straightforward way is again to use the del command. So say del of shapes of zero. So we'll hit control two. So now the ball flies up to the upper right corner. And boom, it disappears, right? We're left with just the, the box there because the sphere was up here, but now it's 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 so far gone from memory that the code doesn't even auto scale anymore, right? It just auto scales right back down to the box because this thing is now out of memory, right? 
And you might wonder, well, what happens to the box here? Because this sphere, it's like I've deleted a part from a list. Let me show you what happens to this. Uh, let's do this. Let's turn the box to a color of red. And we're going to say print shapes of zero dot color. I want to show you what happens here. So we've got the red box, we've got the white ball. Boom, we're back to here. It tells me that it's got a color of red, right? This is red, green, blue. So it's telling me that the color is red. What happens is the sphere gets removed from the shapes list, the box jumps down to the zeroth spot. So you never have to worry about leaving some empty spot in the list. Everything will fall down to the next spot in the list. So that's a couple of ways you can delete your uh, items in vPython. Uh, again, if you don't need them and you want them to, not, to no longer take up the memory, uh, you can use this del command as long as you turn it visible equal false first. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.